Hi, welcome to Sign House TV. On this episode, I'll be talking about what is a pixel pitch and why it's so important in your LED screen. Let's go. So before I start explaining about what is a pixel pitch, obviously first you have to see what is the primary component in an LED screen. So this is one of the primary components. This is called an LED cabinet. So this is our do it LED cabinet. It is 50 centimeters wide, 50 centimeters in length. It is having four modules, which are 250 millimeters by 250 millimeters. All the graphics capabilities like a receiving card, power supply is built in. It's easy to install and you can custom build any size screen with the LED cabinet like this. So this is our 2.9 pixel pitch LED screen and this is the module with the 2.9 pixel pitch uh, LEDs. So when we say what is a pixel pitch, so the, the pixel pitch is the exact distance between two LEDs on this module. So from the center of one module to the next LED center is 2.9 millimeters in width. And this pixel pitch is what determines the resolution of your screen and the image quality of the screen depending on the size you're going to install and also it's an important factor in deciding on the ideal viewing distance depending on the environment you're going to use it in a 2.9 pixel pitch led screen is quite commonly used in indoor environments that may be in events conferences and even fixed installations inside stores and shopping malls it's ideal especially because you can have large seamless screens. At the same time, it has a viewing distance of approximately three meters away from the screen. You can have the impact is considerable on the viewer. So that's generally the thumb rule also with pixel pitch when it comes to the viewing distance. We say with 2.9, that's three or 3.0 millimeters. It's a three meter uh, ideal viewing distance. If it's a pixel pitch of five millimeters, it's a five meter ideal viewing distance, 10, 10 and above and so on. So generally in outdoor environments, since they may be on billboards and uh, maybe for in far away locations, you have a much further viewing distance. So quite common to see outdoor installations with only P10 pixel pitch. And obviously outdoor is a totally different subject in terms of water resistance, temperature and uh, cooling. So when it comes to indoor, a uh, rental cabinet like the Do-It cabinet is ideal for fixed installations and uh, rentals like rental installations like a conference or a, a, a wedding event and so on because you can fix them very easily they're rugged and the pixel pitch is the most important factor when deciding in terms of the content you're going to play and the size of the screen so for example the demo screen we have in our premises is a screen which is three meters in height and 5.5 meters in length or long. And so to arrive at the pixels in this three meter by 5.5 meter screen, you have to take 3000 millimeters divided by 2.9, that is roughly 1000. So graphics, please put in the exact number. And then you have 5.5 or 5,500 millimeters on the length, divide 5,500 by 2.9, you have roughly 2000 on the horizontal so by uh, specification we know full hd means 1920 in the horizontal by 1080p in the vertical so this three meter by 5.5 meter is very close to 1080 by 1920p so it's full hd so you can imagine a normal display monitor which 32 inches or 55 you have in your house which may be full hd we need a screen of this size to arrive of uh, at full HD with 2.9 pixel pitch so so this is a limitation factor but again if depending on the environment you might have enough space you might have enough budget and uh, you want to create that much of an impact with the screen so you need to use a screen of this size So this screen of 3 meter by 5.5 meters can be easily run off a standard media player or a reasonably spec CPU with the graphics capabilities. But if we had to use LCD video walls on this 
uh, 5.5 meter by 3 meter screen, we would need roughly six on the vertical and six on the horizontal. So six by six, that's 36 video wall screens. And they are much more fragile in terms of handling because there's very thin bezels. They could get damaged and commonly, quite commonly get damaged, especially in large installations. And not only that, you have very high resolutions. So in such a large video wall screen with LCD, a single LCD video wall screen has a resolution of 1920 on the horizontal and vertical of 1080p. So six means on the vertical is six times 1080, on the horizontal six times 1920. So that's like over 10,000 just on the horizontal. A four, 8K is somewhere around something like 7,800 on the horizontal. So you have very high resolution, which yeah, sure it would look great, but the content production capabilities are very limited when you talk about the cameras that can shoot that kind of resolution, when you talk about the content production cost, the rendering time, even if you had very high spec con computers to create this kind of content, it would be very, very expensive. And additionally, there are limitations for running the content because when you have 36 screens, LCD video wall screens, you need high spec video wall controllers, a uh, lot of hardware, which could drive up the cost again significantly. So in such cases, you have to compromise with resolution by using a 2.9 uh, LED screen, but it's faster to install and the cost of creating the content and the hardware required to run it is not prohibitive. So that's all about the larger size video screens where obviously LED has a big advantage in installation cost of production and the hardware required to run the content over LCD. But in smaller places like uh, say the reception of a uh, of, of a retail store or an office right behind the reception counter you might want to put a 2x2 two two video wall or a 3x2 two video wall here you have not very prohibitive pixels and reasonable amount of hardware is required only to run the content so for example if you have a space of 2.5 meters in width and uh, 1.5 meters in the vertical 1.5 2.5 if you would use four screens, so that you need two by two video walls, and at 1080 times two, that's uh, 2000, 2160, and 1920 times two is uh, 3840. <laughs> 3840 by 2160, that's the 4K spec. So that uh, it's common now to make content for that spec. It's common to have hardware to run it and obviously easy to install with four screens, very less likely to damage it. On the other use case, if you try to put an LED screen on 1.5 meter by 2.5 meters, you would have very, very low res and you have to keep this in mind when you're trying to put, create the content for it. So in the earlier calculation we did, so 2,500 millimeters divided by 2.9, that's less than 800 pixels and uh, 1500 millimeters on the vertical divided by 2.9 pixel pitch is uh, uh, less than 400 and so 400 by 800 roughly which is far far less than less than 50 percent of full hd so you can imagine the resolution is going to be very low so your content you can't play videos no way it'll look really bad really patchy uh, you can only maybe do certain logos and bigger sizes and also from a certain distance only would it look great. So here obviously LCD wins out. So in uh, closer environments, if you want to really show uh, good full HD capability or 4K capability, LCD wins out. And yes, for sure there are uh, great LED uh, products with lower pixel pitch. Today you have products which are even at 0 0.9 pixel pitch. But you have to keep in mind when you're talking about 1.9, uh, 1.5 0 0.9 pixel pitch that's so the LEDs are so close to each other it is very cost prohibitive for most projects and most jobs so yes with the same calculation I've told you about you can work out what is 4k with 0.9 and uh, 1.9 for 4k but you have to keep in mind today something like a 1.5 pixel pitch is somewhere like five to six times the cost of a 2.9 pixel pitch uh, spec product so it is very cost prohibitive and very difficult to install. You need specialists to do this because the LEDs are so close, they're so fragile. And if you don't have specialists doing this very meticulously, you can have very expensive damage and problems. So 
this is something to keep in mind when considering thinking about pixel pitch and how it relates to your LED screen, screen project. So there's a lot of opportunities with LED video walls and LCD video walls and digital signage obviously. And so many of our signage customers in traditional sign making or graphics can not take advantage of this because you already have customers who are looking for this product. So we're right here in DIP at our headquarters, we have a small demo center where you can come and see this demo screen I've been talking about and you can use the cabinets, you can use the screens and get real life experience on how to install them. We can show your team members the guidance, the hardware requirements, the uh, installation preparation they need. And what's most interesting about our demo screen is that we have completely installed this with a modular profile system. So once you pre-cut these profiles, depending on the site installation, it's just a matter of Allen key and a screwdriver and making sure you plug all the cables in to get a perfectly working seamless LED video wall. So please make it a point to take advantage of this so that we'd love to show you around our screen so you can get some practice and hands-on experience if you've never done it or even maybe you just want to assess the quality of our product we've been talking about. So that was all about what is a pixel pitch and why it's important in digital signage. So if you have more questions, please feel free to comment and share your questions with everyone. So I'll be happy to answer them and give it my best shot. And thank you for watching and see you soon. videos about the signage industry and signage products. If you like our content, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and colleagues.